the life-changing manga of tidying up. I'm sure you've heard of Marie Kondo before, so you know what this video is going to be about. First, decide to tidy up. We've been so hesitant with fully tidying up just because we're kind of lazy. Second, visualize your ideal lifestyle. Try to be as minimalist as you can be. Third, finish discarding first. Does it bring you joy? Not by place, by category. Today's category is clothing. Are you ready? Yeah. Oh my gosh. A lot of clothes. Let things happen naturally Like it used to be I remember you in those shorts. Okay, uh, shout out to Athletic Works. So these, the story behind these is I got these when I first started in grade seven, but I didn't know what to wear for gym class and all my shorts were too short. <laughs> these so are I, huge. Yeah, and I didn't know where to get basketball shorts to Walmart. And I just grabbed the baggiest like basketball shorts I could find because that's what everybody was wearing. Hug them, Marie Kondo. I don't know, Lulu leggings are always hard. I always buy them on sale and then after a while. But this one stayed forever. Yeah, you had that one for I forever. I was Wonder Woman. I think it's time. Oh, the yellow ones are so nice too. I know. They just don't fit really well. It wasn't that hard for me to get rid of clothes. I'm sure Aaron has a different story when it comes to that. I love my clothes, but I know I have a lot of extra stuff that I should get rid of. Feeling of emptiness on my side of the closet feels very freeing. It was challenging for me because growing up, both my parents always kind of put a lot of focus around dressing well and taking care of your appearances. So my clothing has always been kind of special to me. Like I won't even let Jess borrow most of my clothes. This was a big process for me to kind of give away a lot of clothes, especially like a lot of more meaningful pieces that I just don't fit anymore or don't work anymore. I just have gotten so raggedy that I shouldn't even wear them anymore. It taught me that if I ever do want to buy something, I have to make sure I love it because I don't want to waste or give too much away anymore. Yeah, I have to be 100% with every piece of clothing I buy because there's only limited spots and I just don't want to accumulate that much anymore. I think I learned that even if you're attached to like a certain piece or even, even if you're attached to your clothing, it's okay to let it go once it doesn't serve a purpose for you because otherwise it's just cluttering up your closet and you can't fully appreciate and see all the other wonderful clothes that you have. I know this was just the first step of our decluttering journey. Since we started living together, we haven't really had a place where we just stayed put. I did give away stuff as we moved from place to place, but now that we've been here for about two years, it's nice that we can just put everything on the bed and go through it, what we want to keep and give away with more purpose behind it and asking ourselves if this actually does bring us joy. I'm excited for the next one.